Hi everyone, uh, my name is Kelvin Johnson. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure Windows Server 2016. So, I'm, I'm going to use a virtual machine which is VMware Workstation 12 Professional. So, this is a licensed version. So, if you don't have a VMware Workstation, you can always use the VMware Player which is a a free version you can download from the internet so to install the windows server 2016 we have to we have to create a new virtual machine so to create a new virtual machine you can either go to file and just select new virtual machine so you can see there's a short call that says control plus n or you can decide to click on the cross here create a new virtual machine so when you click create a new virtual machine you have two options so the first option is the recommended option and the second one is the advanced option so for now i'm going to use the recommended option just click next and so here you have three options so the first option is saying um, is your windows in a dvd drive did you burn it to a dvd are you using a, are you using an iso file or will you be installing the operating system later so for me I'm, I'm using an ISO file so I'm just going to click on the ISO file and browse to where my Windows 2016 is mind you the Windows 2016 I'm using is a free version I downloaded from the website of Microsoft so you can always do the same because this is just a test environment so click browse and here I'll be directed to where I download the folder which is under my document so just select the Windows Server and click open well it says that it does not recognize this as an operating system it's not a problem just click next so as you can see it's, you have to choose which kind of operating system it is so it's not a Linux or Solaris it's just a Microsoft Windows under the version you have different options here to choose from so as you can see for me i'm using windows server 2016 so click next so you have the option of giving your windows server a name now and you can decide to choose where you want to install this virtual machine so i'm just going to browse to my folder and decide to choose a new location where to store the virtual machine so let me just um click on let me see, uh, I'm going to create, uh, I think I have already created a name here. So let me just create a new folder here and call it um, Windows Server 2016. I click OK. So virtual machine name, I'm going to give it just, let me say, it's going to be my dns and also my domain control server uh, let me just give it um, let's see and to open uh, so domain c zero one so it's gonna be my domain controller as you can see i just give kind of a standard name i'm using belgium i live in Antwerp, so i'm using a domain controller zero one so click next so it's trying to ask me what do i want to do so i decided I, sometimes i prefer to store my um, disk in one place so you just store your virtual disk as a single file or you can split your uh, virtual disk so, but for me i decided to store it as in one place just click next so um here you can see the, the summary of what i'm going to do but i'm going to click customize hardware to add some extra like the network adapter and some other option to it so yes as first of all we have the memory so now automatically the VMware select two gigabytes of memory so I'm installing this also on a laptop which has about 16 gigabytes so I'm just going to use uh, let me say use four gigabytes and for the processor I'm just going to leave it on uh, number of processor I'm going to leave it on one for now for this test so um, for the network adapter I'm going to add a different an extra adapter 
So I'm going to use a network adapter with Nest. Uh, I'm going to use a bridge connection which I will use later for my static IP address and click Nest. So um, for, for the bridge network which I selected, I'm going to use that later for my static network address and for my NAT which will be connected to my computer automatically. I can also decide to change it to bridge which I can do which will be connected to my computer network automatically to have access to the internet. So now just I think for the USB controller which is OK, it's 2.0, you can decide to use 2.0 if you are using a USB that does not recognize 2.0. So the car sound card is always good. Auto detect the printer which is present is a yeah, virtual machine but we can decide to install a printer later on the virtual machine and just click close and finish. So as you can see now my virtual machine has been created. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to power on this virtual machine to start the installation. So, okay. So it's trying to boot up my Windows 7 2016 as you can see. So let me not delay your time, let me just pause, pause this. And when everything comes back, I'm going to bring it back to you. Okay. So it's back. As you can see, I have here Windows Server 2016. So the language to install, which is the United States, so you only have one option actually. And for the time and currency format, I live in Belgium, so I'm just going to choose the Dutch Belgium. And automatically, you see the keyboard, which is actually an anxiety, it's changed to Belgium, period. So you just click Next. And do, I'm sorry, I'm not going to repair your computer, so we're doing a fresh install. Just click Install now. So it's trying to calculate and see um, what, um, how many, what space do I have and what other options are we going to choose. So now, as you can see, uh, we have four different kind, uh, four different options of which we can choose from. So um, we have the uh, standard um, evaluation and the data center evaluation. So if you choose the first one, you know, you'll, you'll be um, the sort like the Windows um, Core. Will be installed, which will everything will be of, um, configured through the kind of a command prompt. But I'm going to go for the standard evaluation, which is a de desktop experience mode. So as you can see, this option is useful when a graphical user's interface is required. And if you choose the first one, as you can see, this option rec recommended reduce management and service. So this one it does not use the graphical user's interface, it only uses the core option. So I'm going to choose the second one, click next. So I accept the license, um, you think you have the time, you can read all the information which are here and just click next. So if, um, if you see which type of installation do you want, so we have two options. Here. The first one it says upgrade. In this test environment, I'm not doing an upgrade, so I'm doing a clean install. So I'm going to choose for the custom install Windows only. Advanced. As you can see, I have a 60 gigabyte of disk. So I believe if you are yeah in an enterprise environment or working environment, you have more disk allocated to your hard to your Windows Server 2016. But for the test environment, I decided to just choose 60 gigabytes. So what I can actually do, I can decide to create a new disk here, and let me just put it like a um, little space of 50 gigabytes. Let me just use 50 gigabytes. Okay. Okay. So almost about 48 gigabytes. So now we have 
but 48 gigabyte where I can go and install my Windows Server 2016. I'm gonna format it. You can see my primary partition has been formatted, so just click next, and now Windows will be installed. So I'll be back when the Windows is completely installed. So let's just hold on for some minutes. So so as you can see um, the update is being finalized and Windows is being installed so it says my computer needs to be restarted so I just click restart now so as you can see my computer has just been rebooted so now it's asking me for a password to um, gain access to this computer as an administrator so I'm going to enter a password So I just hit enter the, the same password again and then you click finish As you can see now I can decide to log on to my computer so if you are using a VMware machine so if I now it's asking me to press ctrl or alt delete to Kind of sign into my computer so if i press ctrl or delete on my computer i'll be presented with the all the options on my computer so the best thing to do with if you're using a vmware machine you press you press the ctrl plus alt and then just press insert as you can see only the vmware machine will respond and not my whole computer so i've been asked to enter my admin password i gave some time ago just enter the password Click enter as you can see a new profile is being created so what I'm going to do actually um, just to kind of modify my um, Windows server once the profile has been created I'm going to change my my name the computer name I'm going to change that and also I'm going to give maybe also change the I am give a local I am IP address which I'll be using for my domain controller. So first of all, as you can see, we've installed Windows Server 2016. So now, how do you change your computer hostname? So what I can actually do is normally you can decide to just go to click with your right mouse and then go to System. And here, as you can see, um, during the installation of Windows Server, a name was generated for me. But this name is not what I would want to use for my, if you're working in an enterprise environment or a test environment. So just click change settings. So I'm going to click um, computer. Let me just click change. So now let me give this computer a name, a more reasonable name. I think I'm going to give it. The same name I give the host. Now let me see. And so I'm going to say it. It's going to be my first domain controller. But for now, it's still going to be in a work group. So to add a computer to a domain, to install the domain control, we're going to do that in a different video. So just click OK and OK. So now I'll be asked to restart my computer. Click close. But I'm going to restart it later. So for now, let me also just configure my network configuration. Let me see. As you see, so my adapter is not plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change, go to the properties, adapter, go to Internet 4. Here I can decide to give an IP address. So I'm going to use use the following IP address. Let me use the class C address. Um, let me say 10 point So as you see, and for now we're going to leave everything on like this. All the default gateway and the preferred DNS will be configured in a later video. So well, just click close, close and now I can decide to close this also and restart my computer for everything to be configured properly 
So, but, well, that is how you install a Windows Server 2016. It's just a basic installation, straightforward, and some configuration in the my VMware workstation. So, please, if you enjoyed my video or you like, you have any comments or you have any question, please don't forget to send me an email or just leave a comment below on my video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my video. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time. Bye.